Okay, we're going to do Niagara File, another cookbook recipe. Um, and again, here's the website if you want to look at um, any of uh, the latest and greatest NiFi stuff I put up there. And again, if you have any questions or any issues with uh, NiFi that, you know, I'd love to try and help you out, just um, send me this uh, uh, email address uh, on the bottom here. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the next recipe. Okay, this is recipe number four, and the problem here is you want to be able to replace the NiFi title in your browser with your own. So when you're bookmarking uh, your NiFi, for example, you want to have a custom uh, URL title on the top instead of, I think it might just say NiFi or something like that. Um, so you can see here it says NiFi Flow on the top, and you want to change it to something over here, like on the right, where in this case it says Mike's Cool NiFi uh, Flow web page or something like that. Um, and how you do that is you edit the flow.xml.gz file, and then you go ahead and replace the standard NiFi title, which is NiFi Flow, uh, with your own. And how that works is you go to the NiFi conf directory, um, whatever version of NiFi you're running to the conf directory. And then you go ahead, and again, I use 7-zip uh, uh, util to edit the flow.xml.gz file. And then you just replace the name where it says NiFi Flow with your own name. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a video demo right now. Okay, first thing we're going to do is start NiFi. So let's go ahead to our bin directory and hit run NiFi. Give it a second here to come up. And move this over a little bit. Okay, come on. And I'm using again port 8080. So you look up top, it says NiFi Flow. That's the title. And uh, in order to modify it, we're going to have to create our flow file. So let me just put something in here, just a flow, so our flow file.xml will get generated. Um, otherwise, I don't think there'll be one there in your comp directory that we're going to need to edit later. So just put something in here for now. And um, anything you want to do for flows, you know, any, any uh, NiFi uh, component will be fine. And again, I'm just doing this just to generate a flow file. And just not to generate a flow file, but to, gener to create the flow.xml file. So I'm just going to do a generate flow file like I typically do. Okay, you can see that's working. Okay. So let me stop them both. So hopefully our flow file has been generated now. Flow.xml.gz. So let's go ahead and stop NiFi. And now let's go look at that file. So now you should see that there's a flow.xml.gz. So we're going to go ahead and edit that file. Again, I'm using 7-zip as my editor. And it's going to go to go to conf and flow XML. Okay, so I'm going to edit this file. I'm going to look for at the very top should be something that says name NiFi flow, and there it is right there. I'm going to replace that with my own custom name. And we'll just call it uh, Mike's Cool NiFi Flow Page. Go ahead and save it. We'll update the, X, the zip file. See, we just updated that. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and start NiFi up again. And again, the reason that flow file got generated is because um, I put some components in that page. So you need to do something for that flow file to get generated. Or just use the existing one you have. Now I'm going to delete the work directory just to make sure I have a clean, clean slate. Let's go ahead and start it up again. Mm, give me a minute, it takes a little bit. Uh, one more time. Okay, here we go. So now if you look at top, he says it says Mike's Cool NiFi uh, web page. So that's been replaced. 
And if you look down below, it also says that here on the, um, the flow file uh, component uh, menu. And that's it. That's how you change the URL.